I don't remember much besides the goal flying in and then literally just crying in my dad's arms whilst just feeling his stubble on my face. Just It was just the greatest goal I've ever seen, to be honest, like live. That 30 seconds of Will playing it to me just rockets it in, like it's just, you can just replay it in the head. My first game, I was nine months old, I was Preston North End away and my dad actually got a free pie and a pint because the person behind the bar thought it was hilarious that he'd brought a child that young to an away and away game fixture. We were on holiday in Italy, so the day before my dad woke us both up whilst we were on a Euro camp and said, come on, we're getting a plane and we're going to go and watch Palace get promoted. So we flew back, um, stayed with friends, watched the game and then the day after um, flew back and joined my mum back in Italy. She, she didn't come, she just stayed. That's, 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 that's Venice, Venice to Wembley. To Venice, yeah, that's when he yeah. took us away from you on holiday. On with friends. You <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't have wanted to come anyway. That was a great one, that one. Venice to Wembley. Who are your favourite players? Julian Speroni. And then Shamak. He wasn't really a favourite, but he winked at my mum when I was a mascot for <laughs> Everton vs Palace. So he's, he's one of the favourites for my mum. Walking out with Julian Speroni was just like... It's just amazing. How big I was when I was a mascot. <laughs> it was tiny. Nathan always wanted to be at Jerome's. Uh, Julian Speroni. Yeah, his kids. That's that one. That was my actual dad's oh, top. Oh, yeah. That's... He's even got... He's 33 got years old now, that one. He never knew his actual dad. Yeah. It was actually his stepdad, so his mum's partner, um, who got him into Palace originally. So he, he just completely fell in love with Palace, just... A few of his friends were Chelsea fans and like all that, he had the options, but he just stuck with Palace just because the fan base and I think the friends he met along the way and the memories it created for him. Probably the main personality trait of <laughs> by the end of it was just Palace. Especially being up here because it was so like rogue and unheard of that yeah. there's a Cockney living in Liverpool supporting Palace and so do his two lads. It was like, that was his, his pride and joy. Um, I've always known it as you've just got red and blue running in your veins. That's, just, that's what it used to It's just say. how it is. Yeah. You don't so. choose that you've got it, you just, yeah. you've got and it. We were losing 3 0 to Liverpool for them to win the league, and we came back and drawn 3 3. We, all, and we were there at the game as well, and my dad sort of said to us, like, you've had a long morning already and like a long night, you don't have to go into school. And then both of us, we just sort we of got our uniform on and went straight into <laughs> school just to go and rub it in a bit. Because we're not a, as good as a team as Liverpool, obviously. But when we do beat them and we get to rub it in the faces that we beat them, it's just the best feeling. I've got the famous, the Har shirt. Oh yeah. Oh, that's from the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the one on... Go on, try it on. <laughs> Are you wearing that in that video? Yeah. That's the one? Yeah. That's the, it's the Har shirt actually, in it. Yeah. <laughs> it was not a bad effort. <laughs> I, I love how it's Sahar that assisted him after all the stuff that Sahar's now done for the club. For him to start off with like one of them assists for a goal and then uh, comes us. Just the, the noise of the place like after it went in. That was only to make it 1-0 and our reaction was to cry. <laughs> that was just for a 1-0. It deserved the reaction though. Yeah, it, what, what a goal. Because we had no idea about it obviously in the ground and then we got out and um, Dad's phone was just going, zzz, zzz, just buzz, yeah. buzz, buzz, and he was like, we were on telly, we were on telly, boy. I love how it's like me, you, dad, and mum's like just yeah. celebrating on her even, own. Even you're celebrating as well, you're like, yeah. I do like going the game. She doesn't understand like football <laughs> properly, but she saw the goal and still celebrated like that. It's just, it's a normal celebration for him. For, for as long as he could pick us both up at the same time. It, like, it was a lot more of a good. squeeze for that one, but. I personally like to show my mates at least twice a month. <laughs> twice a month? <laughs> yeah. You got it fortnightly. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I watch it back a lot. Being grateful that like we've actually got that on camera, that that, that yeah. moment was actually picked up and filmed is the most is the best bit for me. It would have just been our memory and then people being like, oh, yeah, it wasn't that good, but it's so much better now that yeah. we're on the video. We just sometimes like stick them across just Liverpool in general. Didn't you stick them on the, hosp the hospital as well? 
Yeah, he took them to Germany and stuck them in yeah. Germany whilst he was getting his treatment over there. That mm-hmm. was a card off um, Steve Koppel, was it? Christmas card to Mark? I think it was. The bottom? Yeah, yeah. Steve, yeah. He sent him a Christmas card as well. Mm-hmm. He was having pain sort of throughout the summer. Um, and he was one of them who was like, oh, I'll be all right, I'll get over it. I'm like trying to be a bit macho. Yeah. And um, then it sort of, he went, he went to the doctors and we got pulled out of out of school and yeah, just told us that he's going to die basically, that he's got terminal yeah. cancer and there's no cure. So that was like for you, you were what, 10? Yeah, 10. I was 14. That was like mad. Something you can't prepare, prepare for at all, like hearing, hearing that and just sort of, don't know, expecting. You just don't know what like, to do. Yeah, you don't. It's all like you hear it and you just... Like, okay, like, what What does it actually mean? And no one can just prepare you for any sort of news like that. Yeah. He still always tried to put his smile on in my head, but obviously he was in pain a lot, but he'd just never try and show it to anyone. He was brave. Like, he, yeah. he, he handled it well. He was sort of, do you know what, I'm giving this a go. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll do this, I'll beat this. So we found out he got diagnosed in September and then Christmas it sort of looked up a little bit. January it just it was just a straight decline. Like just yeah. tore away really and then yeah, he passed the um, first of February. So there was so much love from just yeah, the club. So much general. love and support. He was a big character, he was um, like a known person and to so many people and sort of I don't I don't think he ever knew how many people he sort of affected and they all just had random stories about him to tell us. So when when we were getting the garden done, um my mum had the idea to put a palace plaque into the tarmac at the bottom there. So yeah. that's that's always there now and I think it's quite off putting for anyone who wants to move in yeah, after us. It's, it's but just our our club is now embraided in this yeah. house now. So anyone else who wants to move in just You've got our palace here. Yeah, yeah. probably taking about 50 grand off the price of the house. Yeah, or, or <laughs> they'll, added, they'll actually, probably want to dig it up, <laughs> won't they? Though? No, I'd say it added. Yeah, <laughs> added value for us anyway. Have you seen the grave? No. Um, that's the palace as well. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. And this one is the actual tie yeah. from the funeral. Yeah. Yeah. That's the tie that everyone basically had to wear for the funeral. We put it out and sort of said that like this is the tie that like me and the people who were going to be carrying the coffin, that's what the tie like they'll be wearing. If anyone else wants to wear this tie, then here's the link to it to go and find out. And the Palace website sold out <laughs> of yeah. the tie. It didn't matter who they supported, everyone just sort of... So that's what my dad was known for, he was just known for Palace mad, yeah. just completely. Now the applause you're hearing in the 49th minute is for the Palace fan Mark Whelans who sadly lost his battle with cancer this week at the uh, age of 49. Uh, what a touching tribute. No, no, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't make it down for that one. But we sat in the local pub, which he went to, if he couldn't make it down to a game. Yeah. And we just watched it on like the big TV in there. With um, a load of like, our, like a, his close family friends yeah. and people who were from up here, we were all in the pub together, watching it and like the whole pub as well. On the 49th minute stood up and gave a round of applause as well, which was, which was nice. Yeah, it's amazing. Got a message from Dan Ambers. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> people like to say 40 yards but it goes up every time I talk about it so it's about <laughs> three yards out at the moment, um, and that will continue to rise the more I talk about it it's an iconic goal for me in my career and the celebrations with you two alongside your dad is an iconic moment every time you see the goal I love to see the celebrations particularly from you three once again hope you have a fantastic night enjoy yourselves and hopefully someone can score a goal from even further out. Have a great 
Oh wow. That's so that's just that feels weird hearing him yeah, say our name. It, it's so yeah. surreal that like like I've I've got a photo signed by him just in, in yeah. my room and he knows us he really. really. He's, he's seen us on video, he, we're part of the memory as well. Like, I know. <laughs> wow. There's only one red and blue flag on that um, whole of the. Wow. <laughs> That's why I like the flag because my daughter lives around the corner. But when I come down the road, I can always see the flag waving oh. as you pull down there. So it works out nice. Now they left me to design what I wanted. <laughs> Give me free range and do what you want, Lynn. I was like, okay. <laughs> I know Mark will like Palace one. <laughs> It's nice though when it's got a good strong wind because it's like he's just waving to you. <laughs> like, hi! <laughs> yeah, so this is him. This is his headstone. And he has a very famous thing with saying, My name is Mark Whelans, thank you and good night. So on the top of his headstone, um, he's got that. Nathan chose these words, didn't you, Nath? It's a nice place to come. Sorry, the flowers but, yeah. Oh! <laughs> he has quite a thing of slapping me in the face when I come with that flag. <laughs> Yeah, it's even nice that um, they do lilies in the blue now. <laughs> so it's dead easy to get red and blue to um, match the theme of it, isn't it? You know what? Sometimes, like, when you're, you're, like, really sad and then you come, it'll, like, wrap itself around you. You know, the flag loads of people have said, like, sure, that flag talks to me. <laughs> so they all uh, get the feeling of it, don't they? Is tonight your first time back at Old Trafford since? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is, isn't it? Yeah, actually, yeah. Oh, wow. Brilliant. You couldn't ask for much more. Sitting with the, the owners, the co-owners, next to Dougie Friedman, like Mark Bright, like Legends of Palace, it was just surreal almost. Yeah, um, middle name's Dougie, named after himself, Dougie Friedman. Stockport away, like last minute winner to keep us up, and um, the f like following year was when I was born. I think my dad was still very pleased with him. So <laughs> my dad, he was just like, yeah, he can be called Dougie as well. <laughs> I loved it. It was good just seeing like the um, Dougie Freeman and knowing these, you know, yeah. them recognising these two as well. So it was like, oh. Nathan, what's, what's happened to your tie? Um, <laughs> I got it signed by the co-owners of Crystal Palace. <laughs> uh, just after half time, the half time whistle. And I decided, I'm just gonna go for it, and all of them signed it. And I'm buzzing, so I don't really, I care about the result, but I care more about the tie right now. <laughs> so we beat them on Saturday, so it makes it even better. Nothing better like sweet revenge. <laughs> yeah, that Darren Ambrose memory, I can't. Just looking at where we were stood, well, where we were stood for it, and seeing the same goal that it went in, it just brings it all back. It's just brilliant, yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, um, first brick in the wall. Yeah, first brick in the wall. It says um, Dom, Dad and that, Forever Palace. That was, um, I don't know how he got that first brick. I think yeah, he must have I... just seen it and just thought immediately, uh, he needs that. <laughs> so he just, uh, it's amazing. He just, every time I've been, it's, an, yeah, it's, an, it's a nice, it's a nice it. touch, like, now, after losing, like, our yeah. dad to go down and see that, like, that was something that he, he put there and it was, like, yeah, for us as well. And, like, it's, it's still there as well. Thankful to my dad even still for introducing us to Palace and introducing us to just like Celeste and just yeah it is it's just the the fan base and everything there's just there's no one really like us. Mm -hmm.